several developments in the last few decades both in with regard to the manufacturing practices as well as emergence of new technologies and with regard to the ILO conventions and many judicial decisions the government had brought a bill uh, in this house, sir, somewhere they have introduced a bill uh, in 2014. And sir, that uh, as mentioned by the Honorable Minister today in the morning, this bill was referred to the Standing Committee and uh, the Standing Committee has also submitted its report, sir. Sir, there is a contradiction between uh, the statement made uh, in this bill and uh, the opinion of the Standing Committee, sir. So the Honorable Minister in this bill, in this objects and reasons, he says that since consideration and passing of the aforesaid bill in Parliament may take some time more, why sir? He should have introduced that the same bill in this house. We would have discussed that bill at length. Sir, there are many provisions which sought to be amended, sir. Sir, the, the Honorable Minister has chosen to amend only two sections, that is 64 and 65. And this 64 and 65 is with regard to the hours of work that too pertaining to the overtime. Sir, without discussing the other provisions or other clauses, amending the sections in the original Parent Act, how can uh, we pass this bill, sir? I am unable to understand. Sir, the, uh, uh, he says ultimately in this uh, uh, the in, the aim of the government to introduce this bill is to see the enhanced employment opportunities. So I don't understand how come by increasing the hours that of overtime, how can they uh, enhance the employment opportunities? Whereas the standing committee in its report has categorically stated the committee is of the considered opinion that increasing the overtime hours across the factories would certainly have an adverse em impact on employment generation. So there is a contradiction between the opinion of the standing committee and the intention of this bill, sir. So I request the Honorable Minister to withdraw this bill and come with the bill which is already introduced in this House where the, it was referred to the Standing Committee and the Standing Committee has at length discussed uh, the bill by inviting uh, trade unions, the employers and others, sir. So, this House would have discussed that bill, sir, rather than this bill. Okay. So, I request the Honorable Minister to withdraw this bill. Sri Dushan Chautala. धन्यवाद उपाध्यक्ष महोदय आज हम